Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, thank you for coming back. I was gonna do like a quick get ready with me, some simple glam. So I already moisturized my face and so now I'm gonna just start off with the Master Prime um, Primer Base by Maybelline. I ran out of my Fancy Beauty Primer, so I just picked up some quick primer from the drugstore. I think I got this from like Walmart, maybe Walgreens. I did also fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. Well, not the pomade, the powder. Um, I didn't want any like really bold brows um, right now just because it's so hot. And I know when I use a pomade on my eyebrows, it just like, I get really oily and then it just looks real fake. So I felt like the primer, not the primer, I'm sorry, the the powder will work better until like it gets colder outside then I'll start using a pomade again I'm gonna clean underneath my eyebrows with Tarte Shade Tape Concealer and the Shade Deep Okay, I'm gonna do my brow bone first so I won't have to go back over it so many times to blend it out with the eyeshadow I'm gonna put on. So I'm gonna be using a 3502 palette um, by Morphe. I'm using this shade right here. Okay, I kinda wanna use like a, a brown shade that's like close, close enough to my skin color. Um, wait, I think I'm gonna do this shade right here. Okay, it's kind of dark. So the key to like try to do like natural glam when you want to do like eyeshadow that's like close to your skin color, make sure that you like try to swatch out the colors first or whatever palette you're using and try to match it like to your face if you can. You have, instead of just putting it on and then it'd be like a completely different color than what you thought it was gonna be or you know, just really really off i'm using a true match by l'oreal a uh, color corrector <clears throat> i don't know what it's been what's been going on lately with my face but i've been breaking out really bad over here um it's been like that for like the past like couple months i don't know i don't know what's going on <clears throat> Cause like this side of my face is pretty clear. It's just this side right here. It just looks a hot mess and it's irritating. And I'm like, I really gotta go hand with the color corrector just to make my face look, you know, okay when I put foundation on. It's just annoying. Cause I just, I don't feel like I should have to do all that, you know, but also scar easily too. So I don't know. I'm thinking about going to a dermatologist to see about what's going on with my skin. Honestly, I really don't think it has anything to do with um, what I'm eating. I eat the same before I even started breaking out. Um, now I'm going to use a stippling brush right here. I'm going to spray rose water spray on it and blend out this color character. I'm using from Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Coco. Um, Maybelline's Age Rewind um, Concealer um, in the shade Caramel. It's a little light, but it'll work. I'm going to use my favorite contour brush by Design Essentials. Oh, I'm sorry. Real techniques. So I'm going to blend my concealer out. And now I'm going to go on with this translucent powder by Airspun to set my face. I 
Yes. Now I'm gonna buff out my face with this um pressed foundation powder by Black Gradients. It's running out in the shade bronze. I need to go get some more of this. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my face with Sweetest Cocoa by MAC. Now, I'm gonna contour my forehead, but I gotta take off this scarf because it's in the way. Okay, I'm gonna be using these eyelashes by Eyelor. It's in the 109. It's more like a, they're natural to me, but this is what they look like, they're really pretty. All right, before I do all that, I'm gonna spray my face with some rose water spray. And the highlighter I'm gonna be using is by ColourPop from the, I'm sorry about my dog. I'm using the um, highlighter from ColourPop by uh, The Click. It's in the shade Boomin. It's a loose highlighter. I like loose, loose highlighters because they can go on super extreme or they can go on so subtle and natural, which I love. So I'm going for like, you know, a real subtle highlight. I don't want too much. Hopefully I don't go heavy handed. I'm just gonna tap it on so I can see, have a little control. Okay, that's all the glow I want. I don't want anything else. Okay, put a tiny bit on my forehead. Okay, well, I wanted to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black, but I cannot find it. Um, that's my favorite mascara, so you know what? I'm gonna just use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Okay, I'm using this lipstick by the Shayla ColourPop um, collection in the shade Ooh. Yet. But I'm using a MAC Chestnut lip liner. I just noticed I'm missing something. I didn't even put no highlighter on my cupid so what is wrong with me? I'm trying to tell y'all, when y'all put that highlighter on certain parts of your face, it makes a difference on your look. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my bottom lashes with this uh, same mascara I was using, Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I'm actually gonna go on my waterline with the NYX Jumbo Pencil um, in Black Bean. You don't need the liner, but I was just being extra, so I decided to put some on. I feel like it looks a little better on me. Okay, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. It was something really quick, easy. Anybody can do it. Um, yeah, so this is a quick little throw together, simple glam slash not glam look um yeah